Hello and thanks for watching the Winamp charts and Orgler tutorial. Uh, these are two key features that are available in Winamp 5.56 that we wanted to just give a quick overview. Before we get started, uh, make sure you've downloaded the latest version of Winamp and uh, get that installed. Once you've downloaded and installed it, you want to open up uh, your media library tab and select Winamp charts. And Winamp Charts is exactly that. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's a listing of the top artists and songs being tracked uh, by Winamp users. And if you take a look at this page, you have uh, a bunch of different uh, options at your fingertips. You can sort by artist or song. You can um, filter by particular country, worldwide charts, or you can look at my charts, which is uh, a listing of your own uh, personal uh, data. You also can filter this on a particular time period, so last month uh, all the way through to today's information. And if you hover over any one of the artists in the charts page, uh, you'll notice that you can highlight it, and uh, if you click on any one of these pages, it will take you to that particular artist page where you've got a wealth of information at your fingertips. You've got a band bio, discography, uh, a list of internet radio stations, you can look at photos from the band or even download some of the songs if you're interested. So what's cool about this is not only uh, are you looking at the top artists being listened to uh, by Winamp, but it, it helps you discover new music or even you know learn about um, artists that you're already familiar with. Um, the one thing I wanted to point out is that not everybody by default is contributing to the Winamp charts. You've got to be logged in um, and really the, the plug-in that powers this Winamp charts or these Winamp charts is something called the Orgler. It's nothing that you have to download separately. It comes default in Winamp 5.56, uh, but you do have to opt in and you do have to log, ba and basically by opting in, you basically log in. So to contribute to the charts, you have to start the Orgler. So if you select here, it's gonna pop up a dialog box that allows you to log in with your winamp.com uh, account information. If you don't already have an account, you can click here and create one. Um, I already have one set up, so I'm just going to log in and click to that I agree to the terms. And once I've done that, that's it. I'm logged in, and anything that I listen to from within my Winamp Media Player is now going to be uh, sent over to Winamp, and we can include that in our Winamp charts pages. So just one point of clarification, um, it's any audio file that I listen to. So if I'm listening to... Um, you know, a particular song in my media library, that's going to be sent over. But if I'm listening to internet radio or any sort of streaming audio through Winamp, as of yet, that information is not being tracked, potentially in a future release, but as of now, that information um, isn't, going to be, isn't going to be tracked. If you wanted to log out or no longer contribute or even look at some of the preferences um, or configuration options for the Winamp plugin or for the Orgler plugin, uh, select Options go to Preferences, and from the left-hand nav, you can select Orgler. And here you can look at the default configuration uh, or even log out. But that's pretty much it. The Winamp Orgler is a plugin that comes default with your player. It powers our charts experience, and our charts are not only available from uh, your media player, not, not only from Winamp, but if you go to winamp.com, you can go to a music page, and then from here, search on a particular artist, or you can take a look at the uh, top artists or top songs being orgled by your fellow Winamp uh, listeners. So I hope that was pretty uh, helpful. If you have any sort of questions or, or need further clarification, just leave a comment below on our blog, and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Take care. Talk to you soon.